Everybody, John here at PT, Dan with Sailing Training. How are we doing, Dan? Hey, John, wonderful. Can't wait to dive into this topic. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> he says facetiously. No, I mean so, it. No, I'm t- So let's talk about AI, chat GPT, all the different things that kind of are coming our way. There's that feel of like it or not, it's it's arriving. And if you haven't experienced chat GPT, you, you need to go out there and experience it. But the question then becomes, especially in, in our world relative salespeople, what point do some people start getting replaced by automated or AI systems, et cetera? There's a lot of uncertainty around it in financial services. 15, 20 years ago, it was around robo-advisors. That never became a thing in terms of endangering somebody's livelihood. Um, but chat cheap GPT seems a little different. So the question is then, how do you work with and stay involved and stay ahead so it's not something you're worried about being replaced on. It's something you're trying to figure out how to incorporate in to do what you do even better. Hmm. Oh, we like that. The world being taken over by robots, right? <laughs> oh, what could my. happen? What could go wrong? Right. Well, so let's, let's first of all start by saying if people are watching this video and it's the year 2300, they might be like, hey, we already have robots. What's Dan yeah, and John Everything's talking? fine. But for right now, uh, when we look at, at humans, there, there's really two sides to us. There's the intellectual or logical side, and there's the emotional side. And while robots might be able to do physically what people can do, or might be able to do intellectually what people can do, where the, where the big shortcoming is, is on the emotional side. Robots, as far as I know, do not cry because they feel sad. They might cry because they've been programmed, but they're not crying. All that aside, when we look at sales, what it, what is really about sales? So if obviously making that first contact, getting that first meeting. Could that be done by a robot? Maybe. A robot could do the dialing, could set up right until someone yep. answers. Um, but when we look at, at running sales, we have to find emotion. Yes. If you're a great salesperson, you are great at finding the emotional response. What is emotionally driving somebody or a company to do something, to buy something? And I'm sorry, I don't believe robots are going to be able to really get to that emotion as well as people can. So I, I don't think we're going to be replaced anytime soon. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't either at that level. I think we see it at very small levels where things can be more automated. Um, but I don't think at a higher end sales level, it's anytime soon either. The question then becomes is how do you incorporate? How do you start to say, okay, how does chat GPT going forward, help me deliver more, better, faster sort of thing. And maybe that's where the value is in spending some time with it. Well, it could be. So like, for instance, if you're looking at doing a presentation, you could use that as to say, here's my present. And it can come up with a template of what maybe yeah. you could use. And that just saved you 10 hours, but now you have to take that and go through and change. Yeah, you got to work it to make it real in yeah. essence, in my yeah. eyes. Or I'll give you another example. There, there are um, companies you could hire out there. PT is one of them where they make calls for you. Well, guess what? You're kind of like an AI. <laughs> <laughs> you're making calls. You're setting appointments for your clients. Sure. All they have to do is show up. And so you can use it that way as well. I don't think it's anything we have to be worried about as far as replacement goes, but I, you do bring up a valuable point. Can we use it to help us and benefit us? Yeah, and I think it's the reality is you just got to dive in and start to figure it out and see where it's going to fit. Or you can wait for others to do it and bring it to you, but trying to stay ahead of the curve, I think, is more valuable. Yep, totally agree. All right, see you tomorrow. All right, get out of here.